A lot of TV subscribers have some choice words for cable and satellite companies. Some AT&T customers are complaining of a bait and switch. We asked Anna Werner to look into that. Every month you open up your, your envelope and you go, okay, what's the surprise this month? Gary Rea signed up for an AT&T promotion, Internet and Direct TV, for around $100 a month for two years. When his first bill in July was nearly double that, he complained to AT&T. As I'm talking to them, I get on the Internet and I look at their special, and their special is $99.99, and I go, can you just look at the Internet? Correct. Months later, he was still paying a lot more. That tells me that they're, they're cheating people. The bundle price you sign up for is guaranteed to stay the same for two years. AT&T tells us they fully honor the terms of their promotions. But our investigation uncovered over 4,000 complaints against AT&T and DirecTV related to deals, promotions, and overcharging in the past two years. Like one woman in Florida. How can I help you today? Because I keep getting bills for $79.49. And my contract said that I was only going to pay $24.99 for two years. Over three hours, five different representatives gave her five different explanations. There's some specials on discounts that I'm thinking about that's actually being removed in error. Your bills are no longer combined. It wasn't done on our end, it was on your end. The pricing that you were getting is because you were a new customer with the services. Now you are customer, we don't I, 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 You guys gave me a two-year agreement. And that lower price she was promised? I know this in no shape or form. It is your fault. But that's an expired promotion. Once it's gone, it's gone now. And customers who then decide to cancel the service often have to pay an early termination fee, which can cost hundreds of dollars. There's nothing they're going to be able to do for it. Paul Bland is a lawyer who specializes in consumer law. He told us all of AT&T's contracts require customers to use arbitration, paid for by AT&T. The company says it's faster and cheaper for consumers, but we found out of nearly 150 million customers, only 18 went through arbitration for small claims in the past two years. So it turns out to be a license to steal. License to steal is, is pretty strong language. In my experience, when a large company has a lot of consumers coming forward and saying, we feel that we were bait and switched, we were promised one thing and then we got something else, the company knows about it. That's something customers might claim in a class action lawsuit, except AT&T's contract also forbids class actions. Anna Werner, CBS News, New York.